this video, I will review some tips and tricks for optimal review of an ictal EEG. So we have this patient who had a seizure and before I make any changes, let me show you the EEG in its current state. So we will move along. So you can see that there are some corrupt channels here and then we see a lot of muscle artifact and the EG is basically obscured by all the artifact here. So what can you do to make this EEG a little bit more palatable which will help you identify the seizure onset. So let's take it one step at a time. So first what you can try to do is identify the notch filter so here we have the notch filter and turn it on to 60 Hertz and see if it changes anything. It did get rid of the 60 cycle artifact but the corrupt channels are still interfering with the signal. And if that is the case the next thing you can do is you can turn off the corrupt channels and turn off any non-contributory channels. So the way you do it is you select this channel we believe that it is the FP1 that is corrupt because FP1 is common in these two areas and if you're still not sure you can turn down the gain and you can identify that yes it is these two channels that are corrupt. So I'll select this one and then select this one and basically get rid of height selected so I've gotten rid of it. We need to go back to our original sensitivity or original gain here and we are doing that right now. So at least the EG looks much cleaner than when we started off. Okay, then there are some other oxygen saturation is important and other pulse monitors are important but for now since these are not contributing in seizure localization I'll select those and turn those off as well. So now we have a much cleaner picture of the EG. Let's move ahead and see if we can identify the seizure onset. So the first thing we see is we see some a run of little sharps here and as we move along in the EG at least the onset is clear so we can see that the odd channels are recording from the left side of the brain as you can see it here the even numbers or the channels that end with an even number are recording from the right side and if you look carefully you can see that the seizure is starting from the left side. So the first six seconds do, does help us to say that the seizure onset is from the left temporal and left parasagittal head region. It is a rhythmic theta activity with some superimposed fast frequencies. You should also keep an eye on the ECG uh, electrode to look for any arrhythmias or tachycardia. But when we move ahead with one page, this channel, uh, this page and this epoch is just filled with muscle artifact. So what you can do is, first you can try playing, I mean this might be the best montage, but you can try a few other montages. So if you go in montages, I try using a referential montage and the way I have set it is all the odd numbers are on the top half of this page and the even numbers are on the lower half of the page so you can see a difference between the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. So you are using an average reference montage and again if you look carefully you are able to identify that the seizure onset is from the left hemisphere but the right hemisphere catches up pretty soon. We can try one more montage. This is more of a coronal montage and let's see what happens with this one. Again there is interference from this channel that we will turn off and you can identify these sharp waves in T3 which is mid-temporal and you can see T9 and P9 involvement which is basically subtemporal contacts and here as the seizure evolves we can see that it is the left hemisphere that is generating the seizure and as we move on again there is a lot of muscle artifact okay so we've tried three different montages let me go back to our original montage bipolar EKG bipolar zygomatic EKG montage 
and let me get rid of all those channels that we discussed earlier okay what can you do next so you've tried this now the other thing you can try is most of the EG frequencies fall under a very narrow band and uh, bandwidth so if you set it up use a low frequency filter of 3 Hertz and try a high frequency filter of 15 Hertz and then review the EG so if you move ahead and then try cutting down the gain so that the channels do not overlap with each other so I'm cutting down the gain here now you can see a little bit more clearly that it is not just the left hemisphere it is actually the left temporal lobe which is generating the seizure and you can see the seizure over here evolving and it is much clearer than the way we started later the patient has the seizure go evolves into a generalized tonic-clonic seizure so this is a lot of this is filtered muscle this is not really uh, localizing so I think that's pretty much it for the tutorial today please do not forget to like the video and share with your colleagues I welcome suggestions for future videos thank you so much